our loving and generous God. We praise and thank you for the bountiful blessings you have given us. Thank you for giving us mind that can know and heart that can love. Thank you for giving us the chance to continue learning amidst the pandemic that had caused a lot of changes in our lives. We are sorry for the times we have failed you. We humbly ask for your forgiveness. Father, help us stay focused on our studies. When learning becomes difficult, grant us the gift of courage and enthusiasm. Grant us the grace to use our knowledge in making difference into the lives of the people around us. All this we pray in your mighty name. Amen. Hello! Welcome to TLE class. I'll be your teacher, Mr. Oliver Narang. Here are the rules in our online class. Rule number one, be prompt. Be in your online class 10 to 15 minutes before the call begins. Rule number two, check your internet connection and your devices before the start of the online class. Rule number three, find a quiet and comfortable place to study and keep your things nearby. Rule number four, dress appropriately. No sleeveless, no topless, no wearing of shorts when attending the virtual class. Rule number five, turn off your microphone when someone is speaking or when it is not yet your turn to speak. Rule number six, turn on your camera so that your teacher and classmate can see you. Rule number seven, pay attention while your teacher is discussing or while your classmate is speaking. Rule number eight, be respectful. Avoid doing things that may disrupt your teacher and classmates. Rule number 9. Use the chat box appropriately. Post your comments or questions that are only related to the lesson. Rule number 10. Participate actively. Answer when your teacher calls your name. Rule number 11. Do the different tasks online and submit your requirements on time. Rule number 12. Be safe online. Do not give your password and your personal information to anyone. Thank you. Happy learning! Happy learning class! How are you doing today? I hope you're all good. Please stay home and keep safe. I am Sir Oliver Narag. Welcome to our video lesson in TLE9 Illustration. For today's video, we're going to discuss the first module for our first quarter with the learning outcome, Draw Basic Shapes in Proportion with Illustration Requirement. Let's have a short recap. Good day everyone! Once again, my name is Oliver Narag, your teacher in TLE9 Illustration. And today, meron tayong kasama si Mr. Beroli Garan. Hello, grade 9 students. To discuss our topic for today, entitled, Safety and Hygiene Standard in Technical Drawing. Let's begin! The safety and hygiene or the occupational health and safety standards in drawing is essential because they look for projects that are free of dirt and have an excellent presentation. It is imperative that the job site of a professional specializing in drawing does not have stains of ink, dust or any undesirable object.
Always be aware that work items such as T-squares, compasses, rulers, erasers, pen and ink, are clean because they are the elements that will be in contact with the surface of the drawings. Drawing materials can be toxic. It can cause physical injury by inhalation, ingestion or by skin contact. They can be irritating, causing inflammation of the skin, eyes, mucous membranes or pain. Working safely and hygiene can involve changes in how art materials are selected and how they are handled. Cleanliness and neatness in drawing work are very important requirements. Definitely the seal of excellence of any technical draftsman or illustrator. There are basically 25 pointers to consider before, during, and after drawing. Make sure, as future illustrator, that you bear these in mind. One. Do not eat or drink from the work area to avoid accidental ingestion. Let us avoid eating and drinking sa ating workstation para makaiwas tayo sa uh, food contamination. 2. Familiarize yourself with substances that are dangerous. 3. Hands should be kept clean at all times during work. Make sure your hands are clean before you start your drawing kasi pwede itong makadumi o kaya makasira ng ating project. 4. Wash your hands thoroughly after working with baby oil, soap and water. To keep our hands clean, always wash our hands with soap and water. 5. Keep the work area clean and try to keep it in order. Always keep your surroundings, your workplace, clean and in order. This is the best way para makaiwas tayo sa anong mga aksidente. Six. Ask your doctor if you are taking medication or are pregnant about what precautions you should take with regard to work tools such as ink, which can in some way affect health. Let us ask our doctor or our parents kung meron tayong mga bagay o substance na pwede mag-trigger sa ating mga allergy, ano yung mga bagay na pwede nating iwasan sa ating mga ginagamit sa drawing. 7. All drawing instruments should be kept clean with a cloth or towel. After your work, clean your uh, drawing instruments using clean cloth or towel. Para sa sunod na paggamit, malinis ulit ito. 8. Always have adequate ventilation. Always have a adequate ventilation sa ating workstation. Dapat mayroon tayong sapat na hangin para makahinga, para makaiwas tayo sa suffocation. 9. When using liquid drawing media such as ink, try using those that are alcohol-based as they are less toxic. In using ink, piliin natin yung mga alcohol-based ink because it is uh, less toxic than aromatic solvent. 10. Never paint your body with markers or drawing inks. Never paint your body with uh, drawing inks o kaya ay marker. Kasi pwede maging simula ng ating skin irritation. Eleven. Try to always keep the eraser free of ink and graphite. Make sure na laging malinis ang ating mga eraser. Huwag tong ilapit sa mga ink or mga graphite or carbon para hindi ito madumihan. 12. Have a brush to wipe away any debris from the eraser. Always use brush to wipe away debris sa ating ginagawa or ating drawing. Huwag gumamit ng kamay, baka ito pa ilalong makasira sa ating drawing. 13. Always try to have a natural light entrance at your workplace. Make sure na may sapat na liwanag sa ating workplace. Nang sa gayon, maget natin ang maayos yung ating ginagawa. Huwag naman sobrang liwanag, baka tayo ay masilaw. 14. When using the pencil sharpener, make sure your hands are clean and free from any trace of graphite. Make sure that our hands are clean, wala itong mga graphite or carbon, bago tayo gumamit ng pencil sharpener, para hindi mahawa ng dumi yung ating lapis. 15. Never carry your work items into your mouth. Never carry your work item into your mouth. Marami nang gumagawa na ito. Yung iba nakasanayan na. Pero mali ito. Halimbawa, pag pinasok natin yung ating lapis sa ating bibig or ating ano, ngipin, pwede masira yung ating lapis because of our teeth. Kaya naman, pwede tayong makalunok ng mga bagay o substance na pwede maka-apekto sa ating kalusugan. Sixteen. The pencil should always be kept sharp and should be used properly. 
It should be kept away from the drawing sheet and other instruments. Always keep our pencil sharp and clean before we use it. At dapat siya ay natamang nalagyan. 17. Hand contact with the drawing sheet should be avoided. Iwasan ang pagdampi ng ating kamay sa ating drawing sheet. Nang sa gayon, may iwasan ang pagkalukot at pagkadumi nito. 18. Rubbing or erasure should be done correctly with a soft eraser. Always use soft eraser sa pagbubura para hindi ito madumihan, mabutas, at saka masira. 19. If you suffer from allergies or have sensitive eyes, always try to protect your eye lenses. If you have allergies or uh, sensitive eyes, sa mga sakatsang mata mo kapag ikaw ay na-expose sa mga drawing tools or substance, you can use your eyeglasses to protect your eye lenses. 20. Every 30 minutes, try to rest your eyes for 10 minutes. Our eyes get tired or feeling irritated kapag sobrang tagal na siyang nakatingin sa isang bagay. Kaya kailangan mayroon tayong 10 minutes para pagpahingayin ito. 21. The ink containers and all working instruments should be kept at a reasonable distance from the technical drawing work being executed. Dapat may distansya o layo ang ating mga ink containers nang sa gayon maiwasan ng pagtapon o kaya pagtulo ng mga ink sa ating ginagawa. 22. Never leave glasses of water or any liquid-based material near the project being carried out. Huwag na huwag mag-iiwan ng mga baso o tubig doon sa ating project area or working area. Nang sa gayon hindi mabasa o matapunan yung ating ginagawa. 23. Never support your elbows or body in the drawing project that is being carried out. Huwag ipatong yung ating siko yung ating braso doon sa ating lamesa or sa ating working area. Baka kasi mabuwal ito at masira. 24. Always keep your drawings protected in a cylinder or folder that prevents them from becoming soiled. Always put our drawing in a cylinder or a folder. Para sa ganon, hindi siya madumihan o kaya malagyan ng alikabo. 25. Clean your work area, your instruments and keep your area in order at all times. And last, always keep your work area and tools in order and clean. Always put these safety procedures in mind. This will be your guide and keep you from accidents while working with your project. Thank you very much, Mr. Veroligaran, for helping me to discuss the safety and hygiene standard in technical drawing. For your activity, answer task 2 on page 11 on your TLE Illustration 9 module. You have 5 minutes to do the activity. Good luck!
For your assignment, answer task 1 on page 11 on your TLE Illustration 9 module. If you have some question, wag mahiyang mag-message sa ating Facebook Messenger group chat. And that ends our lesson for today. Did you understand it very well? If not, you may go back to the lesson presented on your module. O kaya naman, pwede mong i-play ulit ang video na to that will be posted on our FB group. If today's lesson is very clear to you, congratulations. See you soon in our next video lesson. Keep safe and God bless.